Bird, thank TV. I know you mentioned Wayne. What do you think about like? Does that ever scare you when you see like Wayne, who been down with Birdman, like he pretty much took him when he was just a little kid, and did the Carter, Carter one through four, and then he get to the Carter five, and he pretty much saying Birdman don't even want to help him release his his album, like he yeah. holding them back, and now they got pretty much a bad relationship. Does that ever scare you about this music game? That the person you might start that might break you off, you know, put you out there to the world might ever <laughs> hold you back at some point. Cause you um, know, it is like a, a dirty game. I, I think I had it. a lot of fears, you know, which in turn kind of held me back in my younger years. And I think what got me to this point is to only fearing God now. Mm. And knowing that at the end of the day, he, he has, he has the power. So, me praying about everything is me knowing that God is not going to allow anything that's not supposed to happen, happen. Um, happen, you know, in my life. So, I know if something happens, it's a lesson to be learned. And, you know, and it's going to be for the greater good for my win and my supreme destiny overall. So, I'm not afraid you know of course as a human being we get hurt by things that's natural we're only human but at the same time i don't get to the point where i just lose my gas or stop wanting to do music because i know at the end of the day god has guided me into the direction that i'm supposed to go in that's real you got any plans for 2017 what's some of the projects you got coming up uh projects that i have coming out 2017 um, we got, we working on a BDM mixtape. Okay. So that's 2016, 2017, coming out soon. So wait you know, on who that. Who else on that? Is you and who else? All the, um, BDM members. Okay. Um, Short, BDM, um, Head Doc, Cooney, um, Navea, Monet, um, Blake, Fades, uh, I don't want to forget anybody. Um, Delt. King mm. Delt, um, of course me. Uh, Can't forget you. Yeah, and um, <laughs> Dizzle, Eastside Dizzle. Um, yeah, we got we got a roster, so I'm just I'm excited. I'm excited. Hefner, Crazy Hefner. So I'm I'm super excited. Like, and then it's it's gonna be some you know some MMG features on there too. But you gotta wait on that. Y'all so um, gonna be doing videos for them too? Some of the songs? Of course, yes. We definitely gonna do videos and you know, we getting to the point where we trying to have everything in house, like how MMG, like they got they got videographers, photographers, everything. You know, mm -hmm. we don't wanna go outside of the the movement, you know, the brand. We wanna mm -hmm. keep everything in house. We even got BDM arcades like coming, like Damn, that's so dope. we doing I've everything. I've seen some of the BDM models too. Yeah, we got BDM models too. So like, we doing everything. Like, we got people with clothing lines, you know. Oh yeah, and um, shout out to Audemars too. He's he's another artist under BDM. He in New York, um, and he got a he also his team of people got um, got clothes. Um, we got a jeweler, Jane a jeweler, in New York. So just everything, just everything like. It's not just a music movement. We, we're we trying to, and anything involving that's based on entertainment, you know, fashion, you know, clothing, um, jewelry, music, entertainment, just anything. We, we're about that, you know. It's a, it's a billion dollar market. So, you know, we tapping into everything in the market of just business and music and entertainment and just, you know, uh, just being visionaries. I'm sure he studied a lot of Ross moves too, so I know you've definitely. been watching closely and, and and thinking of definitely some of your plans for the future too. Yeah, oh, definitely. Like, yeah, it, it don't stop with BDM. Like, I, you know, of course I have my own, you know, visions for my life and, you know, building on that, you know, so, yeah, I'm excited. Like, I'm excited. Like, I feel like this is definitely a stepping stone for me to, do so many other things with my life so I'm excited and I help other people just like beat helping us you're a very talented dope artist right 
What do you think about the whole ghostwriting thing? Could you see yourself writing for some artists in the future? Oh, definitely. Like, I love, that's another thing. A lot of people don't know I can write R&B records, you know. I don't mind writing other people's, you know, records because I know how to separate myself from other people. So mm -hmm. I can research an artist and if somebody looking for something, I can research their artist and, you know, understand what they do and, and and envision what I think they would say and create a record, a dope record for them. So I definitely, um, I want to do more than just, you know, uh, do me, my own music. I want to, you know, write. I, I want to do a little bit of everything, you know. I'm not going to limit myself. Um, would you say you're a very materialistic person? What, what's some of the things you like to spend your money on when you mm -hmm. do get that check in? Um, I would say I'm really not. And that's a lot of people probably would think so because... Probably people have seen me in my beginning stages and, you know, being flashy and stuff. I do like nice things, but I don't, they don't make me, you know, mm. who I am. I'm not super materialistic. I can, you know, I don't have to wear a whole bunch of brands. I can just, I like putting my own stuff together and showing my personality through putting things together. You know, I'm not a label whore, like where I got to have all these different labels and, you take know, 30, 40 minutes to get ready. Nah, I'm, and I don't even take that long to get ready. <laughs> like, I feel like if you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't, you know? So, yeah. Um, I like fashion, but I'm not into, like, just super expensive things. And it don't have to be super expensive for it to be fly. I feel like if you if you got swag or if you, you know, you got style, it's going to show through whatever you wear. What do you think about some of the artists that pretty much made it out their city and, and coming back and the city didn't pretty much embrace them like they should? Would you ever see yourself coming back to Richmond after you'd have made it to that point where you really wanted to be? Oh, definitely. Like, I feel like I want to be that, um, one of those artists that I want to I wanna big up my city because I feel like we deserve it. We have so many talented people here and so many great people here that um, do a lot for the community and I want to be one of those people, you know, and I want to be able to, you know, uplift those other people who might not get the recognition that they deserve because we're in such a small city. So I definitely am into all of the community and the community service. And when I get to the point where I can come back, you know, more regularly and do things to help the community, I want to. Speaking of the city, what are some of the things you like to see different in the city that could probably potentially get us to the state of West Atlanta or other big markets like Miami are? What do you think we need in this city to bring it back to life? I guess that's the best way to put it. More support. I feel like we have to be more supportive of each other and not just try to, you know, get people to want to support us, but actually support each other as well. You know, be more embracing of other people and other brands and, you know, support more the independent labels and the independent clothes and the independent restaurants. You know, the people who put their own money behind their, their brands. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like if That's we true. do that more, you know, I feel like it'll bring more attention to that, to those brands and to those restaurants. You know, I feel like we got to put more into the independent businesses you know shed more light on those and not just run to the mall and run to you know all the people who already got investors and people who putting a lot of money behind them but the people who actually trying to build from nothing mm -hmm. we got to put more into those brands and be more supportive of of independently owned businesses what about the people that seen your growth from the beginning? They, they seen when you drop your first mixtape to now and they're trying to get to where you are. What advice would you give those people? Just never, you know, uh, never stop believing in yourself. Like, never stop chasing. Never stop praying. Like, just always follow your heart and follow, follow... Follow your dreams, like don't don't give up. If if this is something you're super passionate about, keep going. I definitely want to appreciate you and thank you for your time. I know you definitely been busy. I know um you cooking too for the holidays, right? Yeah. <laughs> you say you. I yourself. ain't really trying to. For real, I cook every day for like for myself, so I'm really not trying. I did want to ask, you know, for all the guys yeah. out there wondering, what's your relationship status like right now? Are you just focused on the music? Um, no, I am in a relationship right now, um, but 
um, I'm super focused on my music too. So like I'm the type of person where it gotta make sense. Like you gotta, it can't be. I can't like I'm. I've never really been good with balance for real. Mm -hmm. So like honestly, that's why I've been single for so long because it it was hard for me to actually balance the music with a relationship. But you know like with with God being for, for, first and foremost in my life, I feel like He is making it easier for me to do both. So. That's real. So, yeah. So, let the people know where they can find you if they want to check out some of your music. Um, you can find me everywhere at Destiny the Chef. Um, if you want to hit me up for features or anything, you can either do it at Destiny the Chef Music at gmail.com or Kasim, period, BDM Inc. at gmail.com. And um, we can talk. I'm open, um, available to do whatever. I'm trying to. You know, build with my people, so yeah, hit me up. Did you want the people to hear something before we wrap it up? Sure. If you don't know me by now, it's Destiny the Chef, rebel with the rock, taking shots at the rep. I'm a team by myself, I don't need a nigga's help, make the place set the pick. My presence gon' get felt on the stage, in the game, or the booth, I'm the truth. It don't matter what's your story, yo, name or what you do, what I'm bringing to the table. You don't even have a clue, when I start making moves, competition is a few. I don't care if you owe some bar that you knew, when I'm on, you off, lights out for your crew. You boys are so soft, when I eat, I don't chew. For so long I have been mute Now I'm feeling like a flu I'ma claim it like I own it I'm ashamed like I condone it When I grind I'm up on it Like I'm riding on a pony Have to see it to believe it If you harder come and show me But my cheese and macaroni Not a gimmick nor a phony I am about my business Career to stack bucks And my hobbies are my interests When I step foot in the game You become defenseless Especially when I mention this Flow is so ridiculous My twisted like red licorice And I just can't make sense of it Except that all my senses is Sharper than the pencils Let my women's intuition says I am a racist Only hook up with green faces You better face it Ugh. Hi, it's me with no disguise Global Earth Bank TV